our vision is is really to build a real authentic community. So what does that what does that mean? We can look on LinkedIn and we can see people connected. But let's be honest, LinkedIn feels like more of a marketing campaign than it feels like a conversation amongst friends or respected peers. There's a lot of trolling that goes on on LinkedIn. There's a lot of fake bots now messaging me on LinkedIn. There's all these things that it's moving the wrong direction. And so we need to land a place online where people can virtually interact. It's probably not gonna be the metaverse, but we wanna have a place where people can share ideas and they can connect. And so the common theme is, it's for folks that identify as change makers inside of industrial automation. But the, the real fun, exciting part is we're gonna help those individuals connect on deeper levels through secondary and tertiary common passions. So for instance, Alan and I are both very passionate about coffee brewing. And I will bet that there's 50 to 100 men and women inside of industrial automation at a minimum that geek out on coffee. So imagine what we could all build together if we started working on these fun little collaborative projects towards trying to brew the perfect cup of pour over. Um, why not start a group about that? And so that's what we wanna build, a place where gearheads and gamers, trivia nuts, musicians, creators, they, they can join together with the common thread of industrial automation. And then Alan, uh, why don't you speak to the concept of actually coming together in person? Yeah, ultimately, that's really what our vision was from the beginning of, of coming together in a couple different aspects, right? One, we really want to partner with STEM programs, specifically university, and then bring in some of the high school STEM programs. But that's where the conversation with David was so impactful for us, because that kind of is in our DNA that, that we want to. You've already gone and met with the uh, STEM lead at the University of Arkansas and saw the lab, and yeah. I've start, started those conversations around that. So we want to have in-person one-day events where we're bringing together people to solve a real problem, and ultimately having a full four-day conference. And we don't even like calling it a conference because we don't think it's going to be a conference. It's going to be a we're going to we're going to solve big problem or problems during a four-day event. Well, we're going to do the same model that we do in our in a one-hour event, but we're going to we're going to try to tackle a bigger problem, right? And so, bringing people together, bringing the solutions together with real problems, solving them, being transparent about what works, what doesn't work, what the what the problems are, what the successes are, and ultimately at the end, saying, "Hey, we solved this problem, and this is what it costs to solve it." Everything we did, the people and all the things that we did, this is what we did. So, so interesting enough, our steering meeting, the one of the first meetings we had, we we kind of shared our vision. This is what we want to. This is what we want to build. We want to get to this conference. And uh, Don Pearson said, "That's awesome. <laughs> Slow down. You may, yeah, you <laughs> may want to go build the community first. And that led to to Jeff and I coming up with our virtual workshops and our rundowns. And so. That's what that's kind of led to that, but ultimately leading to a full in-person events. Yeah. So, and where it can, where it can go, we're still dreaming. But you know, I I've had the joy of being a member of uh, Rotary, and I love this idea that we might be able to achieve together uh, with the right vision, the right guidance, and and everybody's coming to the table with good ideas. We might be able to achieve an industrial automation society that meets together on the first Tuesday of every month in 18 different major metro markets around the world, right? How cool would that be? And it's not about a vendor. It's not about an integrator. It's just about gathering together to grow. And ultimately, if we do that, right, so we're going to all level up together. So we're going to be guided by experts. We're going to grow into experts and we're going to have a way to better ourselves better our professional careers, our personal our personal lives, and our companies that we touch. And so that's really the goal. Now, where are we at now? <laughs> Currently, uh, once a month, we get together on back-to-back -back Wednesdays. And so the first session on a Wednesday is called a virtual workshop. And Alan hinted at it, 
but this is a hands-on live demo where we have a guide who is a system integrator that takes a tech stack, so a couple of vendors, hardware, software vendors, and they're presented with a challenge, a problem that needs solved. And over the course of an hour to an hour and a half, there is a walkthrough of the technology, a live build out of that technology integrated together to solve the problem that was proposed. When we get done, there's a breakdown of the pricing of the hardware and software that was used so that you have complete understanding of what it would cost to solve that exact same problem. You have a sense of what the lift would be to do it from the live demo, and then you can have a, a live panel Q&A on the backside of it. That's on the that's on the first Wednesday, and then immediately after that, the following Wednesday, is the rundown. And Kevin, you've been on a rundown before. How would you describe it? It's kind of like what we started off doing right here. It's uh, conversational. We're talking about how did things go, uh, you know, what might have went wrong in the workshop, what are, what are some of the things that it made you think about, and uh, the conversation just goes in the direction that it goes. I, I think it's nice, and I think I mentioned this to you as well, Jeff, at some point, but for me, I, I was part of the second meeting, which was the first rundown, I think, and that was, it was really a breath of fresh air inside this industry, right? There's a lot that is very structured and a lot that is you know, to the point, and uh, we're going to focus on the engineering, and there's not a lot that's focused on, let's take a step back and reflect and, and just do it in a casual way and just have a conversation with each other. My my favorite part about all of these ways that we're currently uh, getting together is on our very first session, I asked Alan, like, hey, how do you want to kick this thing off and open it when we hit the go live button? He's like, uh, can I tell a dad joke? I was like, Alan, I love dad jokes. And so we decided just to tell everybody, hey, we're gonna you know, be prepared for dad jokes. And what we didn't realize at the time is that that was gonna be the, the stickiness. That was gonna be the thing that people started to really comment on the most and enjoy. And so it's peppered throughout all of our virtual work workshops and rundowns. One thing I've learned is that if you don't give, if you don't give developers a ton of lead time and <laughs> specific instructions, specific instructions that you don't start a joke by saying, I am now going to tell you a dad joke. That can be a that can be a point of awkwardness for them, but that's that's okay. We're all growing together and having fun. Yeah, just uh, here's the transparency part. I actually really enjoy that that <laughs> that moment of awkwardness where you know it's being passed to that guy who's dreading right. to tell a dad joke, and you're like watching because you know it's coming. Yeah. And then he's yeah. Like, okay. Here right. I go. Uh, it's it's rough. Like it. I do, I guess, is what I'm saying. Yeah. So, hey, so part of leveling up together here is uh, you're you're helping people level their up their comedy game. Yeah. Exactly. That's if, right. If you'd call dad jokes comedy, that's that's a little debatable to you, right? Whatever. What? Uh, we've hit this slide. <laughs> I'm going through it. Listen, so we're in the Q and A section, and we're uh, time sensitive. I'm just going to start with a question, if it's okay to you, Kevin, and then we can ask the audience. So, audience, Absolutely. I'm buying you like 30 seconds to so get your questions going. Kevin, do you know what a drummer names his his triplet girls? I know. I do not. You don't know? And a one, and a two, and a three. And a three. I'll tell you a story <laughs> that happened to me last night. I uh. dropped a dollar bill in the toilet. Yeah, and I realized there was no way I'm sticking my hand in a dollar or in the toilet for a dollar. So I got this brilliant idea. I took a ten dollar bill out of my pocket. I threw it in the toilet because I would absolutely put my hand in the toilet for eleven dollars. Absolutely, why not? That's the uh, way to do it. I told you I was in a hotel. Uh, another sales call. Supposed to it was supposed to visit yesterday a bicycle factory here in Indiana. And I was supposed to meet with the guy who was in char charge of uh, tires, wheels, and he stood me up. Instead, I ended up uh, speaking to his spokesperson. Spokes. Spokes. Spokes, Kevin. Yeah. Kevin. You're like yeah. that guy that won't laugh. I, I get it. No, I get I, it. I, 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 <laughs> they, they're funny and they also hurt at the same time. He laughed at mine, I'm, I'm pretty sure. He didn't laugh at yours. Uh, but I'm immature. I know this because my wife told me I'm immature, to which I said, get out of my fort. 
<laughs> That's funny because my wife, Alan, says that I'm preoccupied with vengeance. We'll see about that. <laughs> All right. So uh, we actually had a question come in, and this is a this is a little bit on topic. It's not uh, asking for more dad jokes. So um, you know, I, I think everybody's thankful. Um, how do we get involved? I'm, I'm joking, um, kind of. Uh, so so yeah, Shane asks. Uh, so how do we get involved? That is the question, and I think that's a great question. So. Jeff Allen, how do folks get involved in Integrate Life? All right. So let's the easiest thing right now, because we are building the community currently. Uh, in the next 90 wow. days, we will actually launch where you can become a member, right? You can join and be involved. For the for the immediate, will you please go to LinkedIn and will you follow Integrate Live? Um, if you do that, then you'll see all of the future upcoming registrations for virtual workshops. Uh, and that's also where we stream the rundown. So LinkedIn, Integrate Live. And if you have any problem finding it, um, just yell at me on LinkedIn. I appreciate IntegrateLive.com and you can click the register button there and you can register there also. And then you'll get the emails. Yeah. 